Hello. All right, so today I thought I would mix things up a little bit. Um, so up until this point, I've been reviewing whiskey. The last couple have been whiskey. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm a big fan of whiskey, love it. Um, but before I, before I got into whiskey, I almost exclusively drank vodka. Um, from ages like 18 to 25, it was just vodka and that's it. Um, and I still, I still really enjoy vodka. I haven't really been getting around to having a lot of vodka lately. So I thought, uh, we would do that today. We're gonna, we're gonna review some vodka just to keep it a bit spicy, so to speak. And, uh, uh yeah, it's going to be a good time. So I've got, uh, two different vodkas today. One of them is pretty, um, it's interesting, pretty straightforward. And then the other one's a bit more uh, of a novelty vodka. Um, so look forward to that a bit later in the video. This is just, um, we're going to start off with this one here. So we've got the, uh, Aiko vodka, which is Japanese. Now I've never really associated Japan with, with vodka. Like uh, when I think really good vodka, I think like Poland, Russia, um, probably some of the better places that, that make vodka. Like I'm, I'm a big fan of Polish vodka. Um, just the consistency is really nice. It's kind of oily texture. Mouth feels really good. Um, Polish vodka is just top notch, but Japanese vodka, I mean, again, I don't associate Japan with, with vodka. So I have had one, uh, type of Japanese vodka before it was called, uh, Haku, uh, by Suntory. And that was top notch. I really, really enjoyed that quite a lot. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this. So the packaging, uh, the bottle itself, um, fairly, uh, it's, it's not too busy. You know, it's, it's a nice looking bottle. Uh, the labeling is really great. Um, they haven't gone too crazy with the actual shape of the bottle. Obviously it's a fairly normal sort of a shape and, um, but it still looks really nice. And I don't really think you'd be able to see this cause this is just like covered in frost still and condensation, but um, they've kind of got these little blue uh, glitter. There's like blue glitter that like outlines uh, parts of this sketch. So you've got a bit, bit of glitter there, some glitter here. It, it looks kind of like cheap, but really cool at the same time. It looks like somebody's just gone over with one of those sort of glitter glue pens and just like traced the art. Um, so I'm a little conflicted about that. It's a bit silly, but it, it looks kind of cool. Um, and the box, oh man, it's, it's beautiful. Like I, I really like this box. It's just, um, you've got these sort of really nice, uh, reflective sort of accents, um, sort of this weird blue watercolor type thing in the background. It looks very Japanese <laughs> as you'd probably expect. Um, really, really nice packaging, top notch. Um, so we should probably actually like open this up and drink it. Hey, uh, this is, um, 40% alcohol, which is definitely a good sign. Um, so I'm looking at the packaging. It's, it's given me good feelings. Definitely. I I'm feeling pretty confident about this one. Um, and it's 40% alcohol instead of 37.5, which is a very good sign. I mean, you'd hope so. Um, cause this costs, what is it? $70 or so. Um, but we're off to a good, a good start. We're going to have some of this now, if I can figure out how to like open this, Jesus Christ. All right, let's go. Um, one complaint, I think it's actually leaked a little bit. Um, the cork isn't quite, or my, at least mine was not quite tight enough to properly seal the bottle. Um, so that may have just been mine, but be wary of that. Cause you don't want to, you don't want your $70 vodka to like leak out of the bottle. That would be really unfortunate. Thankfully, I don't think I lost a lot of mine, but I have had cases in the past where like bottles of spirits have leaked and I lost like almost the whole bottle. Um, that's not something that's happened a lot, but that's happened before. Um, so definitely be careful. Store it upright. I'm, I'm really having a hard time with this fucking bottle. I'm like, I kind of just want to like bite it. Ah, oh, yeah. There we go. Um, yeah, see that, that cork, it's, it's like rubber, but it, I don't know. That didn't really feel like that was like properly sealed or whatever. Anywho, pour some of this shit. Whoa. Oh, 
Holy hell. That actually smells sort of like lemon, like when I smell- like, not that smell isn't really a big component from- like when I'm reviewing vodka, like, who cares about the smell? But that sort of smells sort of like lemony. Oh, excuse me. Which is really weird. Holy fuck. That is like, that is insane. Um... Jesus Christ. Like, when I was talking about the Haku vodka, which is the only other Japanese vodka that I've tried, um, I described it as floral. Now, I'd say that that's, that's actually really, really similar to that. Um, Jesus Christ. It's like drinking a bottle of perfume, which is not unlike the Haku vodka, but this is like that. Um, like, times ten. This is even more intense. It's just like... Such a full-on flavor for vodka. And when you think vodka, you don't think flavor. Like, vodka is, all, by design, kind of supposed to be flavorless, almost. Like, the process of making vodka is, is kind of like removing flavor for a lot of it. It's, it's sort of like... That's insane. That's That's got to be the most... I don't really know how to describe it. I don't think I've had a vodka with, like, that much flavor before. This is, like, really nuts. So, I don't know if that's just a trend with Japanese vodka, if they, if they like them to sort of be, like, almost herbal, floral, um, and it's got a bit of, like, lemon zest. So, um, wow. Really, that's, that's really good. It's very smooth. Um, no burn. So, if you do like to enjoy, occasionally enjoy vodka uh, straight, which again, I'm, I, I do. Um, this is, this is excellent. Like, I don't really know what else to say. Um, I mean, I could go on for another God knows how long about it, but um, I'm not gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna rate it. Um, so, good packaging. Uh, shame about sort of the leaky cork. Uh, Flavor-wise, I'm just trying to think, like, what, what do I want to rate this? It doesn't have the same appeal as Polish vodka, in that you don't get that sort of thicker consistency, that kind of oily, oily texture to it. Um, it doesn't have the same kind of, like, mouthfeel. Um, and that's actually, like, a really pleasant thing. If you've never had vodka that's that has any type of it's not thick or viscous or whatever. Like a lot of vodka is not like that. But if you've ever had like potato vodka, um, a lot of it kind of has that texture. Um, and it's, that's a really nice quality. That doesn't have anything like that. It just, it has the consistency of water. Um, but the flavor is just insane. Um, and it's, it's as smooth as any other top shelf vodka, that's for sure. So there's no shortcomings in terms of smoothness. Um, I'm going to say, I'm going to give that like a 9. Definitely like a 9, straight 9 out of 10. Okay, so we're going to move on to the next one now. I think I've wasted enough time so far. I tend to ramble. Don't know if you'd notice. Um, so this is, uh, yes, we've got the... Oh, just trying to dust off some of the uh, frost. Shit the bed, <laughs> it's called. Uh, in, this is like chili um, infused vodka. Uh, I don't know exactly what process they've used to infuse the chilies in here. This is uh, the brainchild of uh, Bunster or Bunster's hot sauce. Um, I have actually purchased some of their hot sauce before, and it's, it's really quite hot. Um, got a good amount of kick to it. Um, I can't remember the the one that I bought. I don't remember what it was called. Um, but they make excellent hot sauces, um, so if you're big into that, uh, check out Bunsters. They don't add a lot of extra, like, capsaicin extract to make this, the sauces hotter. They kind of just go, uh, all natural, which, um, is a, that's a good thing for a hot sauce. But anyway, hot sauce infused vodka does not sound like a good time. And when I bought this, I didn't buy it thinking that it'd be a good time. I bought it to review, like, for, for you guys, basically. Just for a bit of a meme. Um, so yeah, uh, packaging-wise, very short, stubby bottle, because, I mean, it's a small batch vodka. 
Um, they don't give you as much, so it's 500 mils as opposed to 700, 750. Um, no surprises there. 40% alcohol, which again, um, I forget exactly how much I paid for this, but it was somewhere in the vicinity of like 70 or $80, I think, from memory. Um, it wasn't especially cheap because it's a limited run, small batch vodka from a company that's not known for making vodka. Bunsters, again, they do hot sauce. Um, I can't remember the distillery that actually made this. Uh, I think it says it somewhere on the bottle. Yeah, Alchemy Distillers. I had a little bit of a look at their website. They didn't really have too much on there. Um, they do have some vodka, gin, other stuff that they make, um, but not a huge amount. They mainly just um, do stuff like this. Uh, if you want to make a vodka or some type of spirit like this, uh, Alchemy Distillers will do bespoke runs for you. So that's what that is. Um, I actually also had, a, had an issue with leakage with this one as well. The, the cork, um, not too good. And I'm noticing a trend here. So this one also leaked and it's got one of those stupid rubber corks, which probably isn't sealed properly at all. So um, yeah, I've never had vodka with these stupid, I don't recall having vodka with these stupid rubber corks until now. Um, and the cork just broke. So this little part broke off the actual rubber section. So that's uh, concerning. I think because it's been leaking, this, this bit of wood is just like waterlogged or vodka logged as it, as it were. Um, so that's fun. I don't know how the fuck I'm going to get this out. Can I use this as like a, no, I'm gonna have to bite it. No, hold on. there we go. <sighs> okay. Um, we're going to pour some, I'm really not looking forward to this like at all. Um, chili infused, you can actually smell the chili, um, or just from the, the bottle. Like, even before I opened it, because it's been leaking. Holy crap, dude. That smells very strongly of, um... Scorpion fucking chili. Maruga scorpion, I think it is. Um... Mm. See, like, when you buy a novelty vodka, I mean, you'd think it'd maybe just have a slight amount of spiciness or whatever. And probably wouldn't, like, burn very much. It'd just kind of be a little bit of a kick. Um, I imagine they designed this for, like, cocktails and stuff. So, um, there's, I think, a lot of cocktails where, um, something like this would, would come in handy. Um, I'm not gonna drink that just yet. Another sort of interesting thing is, uh, because it's infused with chili, it's sort of got the very slight, uh, cloudiness to it. It actually sort of has a very subtle cloudiness, like a, a yellow tint. Um, so that also has me worried, because I'm like, maybe they do have a good amount of, like, chili infused into this. And I'm like, is this going to be like terrible? Um, okay. I'm going to stop stalling and fucking drink it. Oh, good God. Oh my God. That was fucking disgusting. Like, holy fuck, dude. That was like, I think out of like everything that I've fucking every, that, that is the most disgusting alcoholic thing I've ever had in my entire life. Um, the flavor was fucking terrible. Um, even if you love hot sauce, wow, that's fucking hot too. What the fuck? Okay. Um, yeah, they really did pack a lot of chili in that. Um, that's not fun. And that tastes awful. Like, my face is on fire. Um, it's not, okay, it's not too bad so far, but, um, face and my, uh, stomach and chest and, and, th and that are not currently having a good time. Um, so, yeah, if you want to buy some stupid vodka for the fucking memes, um, shit the bed vodka, like, I think it'd be great for parties. Um, because sometimes, you know, when you're at parties, you, you, just, I don't know, do stupid shit. And um, this is some stupid shit, the bed vodka. Um, geez. Okay, the burns, the burns kind of subsided a little bit now, but the taste, I wish I had a glass of water because that was fucking vile. Um, I mean, it scores some points for being, for the novelty, like it's a cool idea. 
Um, and it probably would be okay in cocktails. I think when you mix that with some stuff, uh, the grossness won't be too bad. <laughs> uh, wow, I'm actually just very overwhelmed by how fucking awful that was. Like, I I've already... <sighs> Once this video is done, I'm just gonna like have to sit down and just fucking think about my life and um, how it's led to this and what I did to deserve such an awful vodka. Like what? <laughs> I can't. Okay. Um, I'm gonna give it like three points for the novelty. Um, cause it's an interesting idea. I like, I respect that. Um, I do like their hot sauces. It's a, sh it's a shame that, uh, as a hot sauce lover, uh, I, that was not a very good experience from that, uh, perspective. But yeah, I'm going to say three out of 10 purely for the novelty. Um, if I didn't give it any points for the novelty, I mean, that's a solid like 0 0.5 out of 10 if we ignore the novelty, but we'll give it a three out of 10. Yeah, this really fucking, this sucked, man. Alright. Laters.